quick mailbag for you today. Actually, this one is from a viewer. This is from Electronics Workshop. You can check out his website at electronicsworkshop.ca. He actually made use of my, my P.O. box and sent me some goodies. Um, interesting, a counter. I have never seen one like this style before with the terminals on the back. It looks like we could, we could probably figure out I'm guessing those are for feedback and not activation. Interesting. I'll have to maybe tear this down and have a closer look. We got some capacitors. Several of them. Very cool. We got a couple dip style. What are these? Now this is hard for me to read, so I'll just have to get in a little close. I'll break out the microscope. I actually can't read what those are. Uh, future me will overlay them on the screen right now. <laughs> Figure out what that is. What else did he send me? Looks like some switches. He said this was just a goodie box of all kinds of stuff and sure enough it is. Is that a switch? No. What is it? More stuff I can't identify. I thought these... That's a push button momentary switch. Is this? What is? Oh, there we go. It is push button. Very cool. Tiny, tiny little guy. It's an odd presentation of a switch, but yeah, I've never seen that style. Very cool. And a push button display pad. That might be handy. Must be capacitive or resistive touch. Very neat. Big LCD display. These things are always tricky to find the right connector for those, but uh, if I get ambitious, I'm sure I could track it down. And some just jumpers. These are just solid wire. Looks like you could use them for a jumper on a breadboard. That'd actually be pretty handy. Those are really handy, actually. Um, I have similar. This is what I use. These kits you've seen on a previous mailbag, these work really, really good for various breadboard projects. We got some plastic clips, whole bunch of, check these out, whole bunch of um, LED uh, status bars. Very cool. We could use these for uh, a sweeping display of battery level or whatever. Uh, pretty handy, whole bunch of them. He must have got he must have had a pile of these. Very cool. Some more touch sensors. Look like they're from an Arduino style kit. Those are kind of neat. And that is it for this. Well, thank you, William. I appreciate that very much. Anybody who wants to send anything in can do so at the P.O. box listed down below. I'll send out some stickers for you, buddy. Sorry it's been so long. We got an uh, IPEX to SMA or RPSMA connector. This is for the ESP8266 projects. I'm just in the process of uh, designing a, a custom PCB for it. And uh, I'm debating on how I'm going to release it open source. You've seen me testing the antennas previously on the channel here. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I'll keep you posted. And speaking of PCBs, this pro this episode is brought to you in part by PCB Way. It's a great source for any custom PCBs you need. If you have a project in mind, go ahead and design the PCB and have them fabricate it and even assemble your circuit for you. Check them out. Great deals. Okay. This one, not electronics related, but pretty cool. It's a little Gerber knife. Um, I've actually, I've actually always been a Leatherman guy, and I have uh, my Leatherman Surge that I've been using for oh, a decade and a half now. But I needed an everyday carry, and it just so happened that there wasn't a lot of Leatherman on Amazon, but there was this uh, from Gerber, and this looked like a really handy little everyday carry knife. Um, I, I kind of regret not having an, an everyday carry a lot lately so I thought well this might just do the trick and uh, be just what I needed so pretty cool nice little knife I like it oh very cool these are electromagnets 
I ordered these for a very specific project I had in mind many, many moons ago, and I'll get around to it someday. This is just a, I believe, 12 volt. Uh, yep, 12 volt will lift two and a half kilograms according to the sticker. Wow, that's impressive. I uh, don't know how many amps it pulls. We just have to hook it up to find out. But it's got uh, a mounting connection there and you just you just apply power and sure enough, you've got a magnet that according to this will lift two and a half kilograms. That's a lot. Very cool. Next up, three OLEDs. More OLEDs. I was actually running quite low on OLEDs lately. These 0.96 inch OLED screens, organic LED. These are the I squared C version, not the SPI. Very simple, a couple connections, power and ground, and you're up in business. Great little display, tiny, tiny little display. Wonderful, good, great contrast, wonderful displays. I love them. A couple of USB wireless and adapters. These are handy dandy little adapters to use um, if you're using like Kali Linux, like I was using the other day and I wanted a second Wi-Fi adapter. Well, sure enough, this is a good way to do it. Uh, 150 megabit a second, nothing crazy crazy, but good enough for what I need it for. And last, a new FR Sky receiver. This is the what model is this? I can't even remember. I'm not good with the, the naming of these. It's not the XM Plus. This is the V8R42 4 channel. Um, I think what I needed this for was actually for my uh, small little UAV, my Nano Talon. And uh, I wanted to give one of these a try, so we'll give them a go. Uh, I love the FR Sky stuff now. I've pretty much entirely switched over from Fly Sky. I'm having good luck with it. Great little, great little radios, great little receivers. They just, they just, they just work. A little behind the scenes. This week, I finally got my MST61 all fixed up and working. Had to do a carb kit on it. It happens. The uh, fuel, the ethanol just chews up diaphragms. As you guys know, uh, I was a mechanic for many years, so I've been familiar with such things. This is next up on the list is my Kaipur uh, 3 kilowatt generator. The recoil failed on it. It actually just it just tack welded, just spot welded, and it just broke in half. I was actually able to find a replacement on Amazon, which is pretty cool. And I've already done the inverter board in that thing before. It's a wonderful cheap generator. Pretty happy with it. Another generator to this one I got tuned up yesterday. This is my Hyundai 2 kilowatt. And I was able to drain the fuel out of it, run that out, a uh, new spark plug, and I ordered a new primer. This is ready to fail any moment. If you guys would like to see more of the mechanical stuff behind the scenes, like in my former life sitting right here, let me know in the comments down below. Shoot me a message and I'll, uh, I'll do more of these videos. We'll do, well, I've got this guy coming up next. He needs a carb kit as well, so pretty cool. Let me know.